What's up guys, my name is Asher. I'm, oh my God, I'm a server at Chili's. <laughs> so come on by from 8 p.m. to midnight. Free fajitas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up guys, my name's Asher. I'm here at Casserole Studios. And today I'm gonna do a quick run through on how I track and record vocals. So first I'm gonna show you my process on setting the mic pre, gain staging and things like that. And second, we're gonna go through my external compression techniques, whether you wanna use it or not, I'm gonna show you my techniques. And then last, I'm gonna show you how we capture it all on Pro Tools and what my session looks like while I'm recording and kind of workflows and how to stay fast and uh, let the artists have fun while they're recording. Okay. So today my choice of mic pre is going to be the Neve 5052. And let me run you through all the functionalities that this mic pre has. Starting at the top, we have mic input and line input. Obviously we're gonna stay in mic input. Then you have your choice of phantom power for 48 volts. We will not be using this because the mic that I use to record this is a Sony C800, which has its own power supply. So we'll keep that bypassed. We also have pad. We also have mic gain and it's in increments of 6 dB. And if you want to get more specific, you have your trim knob to get in between that. Also up here, we have the high pass filter, which we're not going to use today. Also have a low filter. Also something else I'm not going to use today is the EQ. Now, if you want to use it, all you would do is push that pretty little button and you activated it and you have three bands of EQ, which is pretty cool. Let's turn that off. And my favorite part about using Neve mic pre's is the silk option. Basically you have your red button and that's gonna use harmonic saturation on the higher frequencies. And then you can do blue, it's gonna do the same thing, but on a lower frequency. It's almost like a mix knob of, you know, how intense you want it to be. They actually call it the, uh, the texture minimal or maximum. So let me, run our recording through here and show you my process of gain staging. So now we have her vocals coming through. This is a previous recording I did on another day, but for tutorial purposes, uh, we're running it through the equipment. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna gain stage. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. I'm gonna get a little in between this. So I'm gonna turn this down on the trim a little bit. So that sounds nice. All right, so after I'm staged here and I like the setting here, I'm gonna go down to my silk. That's really all we're gonna use. She has a very pretty bright voice, so I would like to kind of expose the lower end of her voice. So we're gonna do some harmonic saturation on the low end of her voice. That's nice. And it's really that simple. Of course you have other functionalities like EQ and stuff, but we're not gonna do that. I can do that in the box later. So yeah. Now we're gonna move on to compression. So now we're on the compression section and this is actually the last piece of external gear I'm gonna use. Right after this is going straight into Pro Tools. For compression, I'm using the TubeTech CL1B. This is a pretty popular compressor in the industry. Let me just run through some of the functionalities of it. We obviously have gain staging, which is a lot like the mic pre. And then we have control for attack and control for release of compression. Here's our threshold knob. And then we also have a few settings for the VU meter and then a choice for a side chain. I like to have this as my starting point if I want to do compression. And I usually end up kind of speeding up a little bit, but on the tube tech, even fast is pretty slow because it's physically running through tubes. But let's just start here. So as you can see, I have it set on fix where the needle is showing me how much compression is happening. So you see it, once I brought up the threshold, you can see the needle being tickled. And that's kind of what I'm looking for, especially for her. She's a great singer and the dynamics of her vocals is what's so awesome. So we're not trying to compress it too much. Um, even on rap vocals, I'll never go over three. That's maybe as much as I'll ever do. But let's bring it back down. That sounds nice. So some of those louder parts of her vocals barely under one and that's perfect to me i'm happy with that it sounds great and obviously this meter helps but you need to use your ears now i am going to speed this up a little bit using your ears is super important boom that's perfect and once these settings are here i'm not touching them you know this is exactly how we're going to keep it through the entire recording process of the song unless there's a few exceptions but we're going to use the same mic the same settings on these and um, a lot of people like to call it set and forget that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to set this and forget it so it's pretty simple and really you can just play around with this tube tech um, it's in almost every studio and it sounds great no matter what you do 
I joke around and say you can mix up all these knobs and it'll still sound good. All right, so let's go to Pro Tools and screen recording now. All right, so now after dialing in our analog gear while our vocalist is getting warm, it's time to start recording. So let's do the first line. Awesome. So now once we get the recording we want and it looks good, I see some dynamics. I see a little bit of light compression. It's beautiful. So once we get the recording we like, we'll just drag it down to the audio track going into our hook bus. Basically it's that simple. Everything I add on to this process is specific to the vocalist. So that's about my whole process on dialing in a vocalist through analog gear and getting the vocalist warm. Everything else is gonna be in the box and I can show you that in the future but I hope this short video helped you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, especially if you wanna see more videos like this, and I am out of here.